Hey, welcome to Knit Locally. This is our Rose City Rollers tutorial and today we're going to be talking about the double pointed needles version. So welcome to Knit Locally. This is our tutorial for Rose City Rollers for double pointed needles. So typically what I like to do is I like to put all of my needle, all of my stitches, sorry, on one needle just so I can have an even tension for cast on. And this is 64. I think you could safely get 72 on here if you were to squish it. So actually I have four more stitches, so 60. And I'm using a long tail cast on. And the first thing I like to do is you can see my tail here is quite long. Um, so I just like to clip it so it stays out of the way. And what I then do is I start from my edge here, not where my working yarn is, but I start from the beginning. And I try and slip an even number. We're gonna put an even number on all four Needle. So now luckily Rose City Rollers is actually written for um, the four needles. So this pattern will step by step walk you through it, but I'm going to help you out as well. And what she says, so I don't have to do the math, is 16 stitches per needle. So what I tr do is I'm going to slip 16 stitches on this first needle. And as you can see, I'm slipping as if to purl. I'm not going to slip as if to knit because that would twist it. I'm slipping it as if to purl from the left hand to right hand needle. I'm just gonna slip 16 stitches on this needle. Six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. Okay, so that's 16 inches, or 16 stitches there. So I'm gonna slide these down and you can see I still have these here. So I'm gonna take my next needle and slide the next 16. Okay, so that's 16 here, and see we're joined, and then I'm going to knit, slip the next 16. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 14, 15, 16. Okay, so we have 16 here, here, and here. Okay, I will tell you, I am not fabulous at double points. These do get a little bit fiddly. Okay, so in order to start knitting in the round, In order to make sure they are not twisted, what I like to do with my double points, let's get my working yarn out of the way here, and I like to lay them on a table and sort of line them all up, right? So you can see that they are not twisted. My cast on edge, and so actually that one is twisted. So my cast on edge, I want to sort of make sure facing the middle right and just like that we can sort of take care of any problems that arise you saw that one was twisted these now look like they're supposed to so what I'm gonna do is actually I'm going to be knitting on this needle with this yarn here so I'm gonna tighten that up okay and work with this needle so what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna grab my working yarn those up a little, grab here, and double points are fiddly to begin with. If you've never used double points, this is normal. They just are a bit fiddly to sort of begin with until you get several rows in. So I just start knitting across and you are going to continuously knit in the round for between 10 and 15 rows. The pattern says an inch to an inch and a half. Gauge will say 10 rows is an inch. Uh, I like about an inch and a half for this pattern. I've knit it before and I like my cuff about an inch and a half so I'm going to do 15 rows. I'm just going to knit, split my yarn there, across. 
and once I'm done with this needle, I will start on my next. So this is not a full tutorial on double pointed needles, but hopefully this will give you an idea if you've used them before on how this pattern works. This is a rolled cuff, so there is no purling, there is no ribbing on the cuff. It is just going to, you just knit. So knit for between 10 and 15 rows, and I will see you back for the heel. Thanks so much.